From Nashville's WSM Radio, the original home of the Grand Ole Opry, this is a Coffee, Country, and Cody podcast. Hey, it's Charlie Maddox, and in this episode, we sit down with our friend T. Graham Brown. This was recorded November the 23rd, just ahead of Thanksgiving 2022. T. Graham would be playing the Midnight Jamboree. He would also be taking part in a wonderful benefit, Christmas, Cops, and Country, benefiting the Law Enforcement Assistance Partnership, LEAP. And we'd also talk about his appearance just before Christmas, December the 23rd, at the Grand Ole Opry. Enjoy our Coffee, Country, and Cody podcast with T. Graham Brown. Well, a little, <laughs> little folklore here. Uh oh. It's Thanksgiving, boys and girls. Let's go back in time as it was when T. Graham Brown was celebrating in Araby, Georgia, as a little boy, population 586 people. Araby, Georgia, home of Southern Christmas Tree. That's what popped up this morning when I looked up your hometown and started thinking about Thanksgiving's past. Yeah. We had them. <laughs> Couldn't so, wait to get the tree up. There's enough brown to go around. Oh. Plenty. Just, well, you got to say plenty enough brown. Plenty enough brown. Plenty enough brown to go, to a go around. Okay. And Arabies has grown. If it's got 500 and something people in it. Oh, yeah. Because it had like 300 when I lived there. So oh. it's booming. You can't stop progress. And I still got a lot of friends down there. <laughs> There's some great people down there. Oh, we passed uh, the exit on the way to Disney. Stop. Driving from Nashville. Yeah, and I got so excited, and Renee, for the life of her, could not figure out why I was so tickled to see a road <laughs> sign that said Araby, Georgia, next exit. Yeah, <laughs> Araby, Georgia, exit one mile. Yeah. <laughs> and the one thing, this is interesting, is when you click Google Maps and mm-hmm. it zeroes in on Araby, yeah. the one business that comes up is party liquors. Yeah, that's, what oh. right there next to the interstate. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then you go north a little ways and you get to the Christmas tree farm oh that I referenced. Gosh, <laughs> party liquors wasn't there when I lived there. But there was a, a liquor store on the county line, which was about a quarter mile from the house. <laughs> which one did you work at, the Christmas tree farm or the, the liquor store? <laughs> no, but I'd ride my bicycle down to the, to the liquor store. There used to be this liquor called Old Crow. Yeah. And they would have these oval old crow stickers that had a picture of their cartoon old crow on them. And we would put them on our bicycle seats. We'd go down there and say, hey, man, you got any old crow stickers? (laughs) Well, you were just down here two weeks ago. I gave you all of them that I had. (laughs) But we would put those stickers on on our notebooks and on our bicycle seats. So what do you remember about Thanksgiving as a kid? What's what's stayed with you? And, and Oh, we would go up and visit with my grandparents, run around. It'd be warm. I remember, I remember running around barefooted on Thanksgiving. We'd go, we would go out in the woods and find a Christmas tree and cut it down and and bring it in that would be the start of the christmas season on yeah. thanksgiving that was a tradition that yeah, you did. yeah yeah and we'd bring it in and decorate it up and then on my other grandparents side they waited till christmas day mm. we would go out and cut down a tree and decorate it on christmas day that's how long they waited what were they afraid to burn the house down I with the christmas know, tree lights man, or just laziness one of the other <laughs> But, but all the cousins would go out, and we would, you know, argue on which one found the best tree, and we'd saw it down, and we never bought a tree. We always cut yeah. them down. What were the food traditions that you recall? Well, the usual, you know, turkey, mashed potatoes, and squash casserole, and pumpkin pie, and sometimes we'd churn ice cream. Did you, do I recall you were your family? They were in the chicken business, chicken houses. Yeah, we had chicken houses and we had cows and we raised corn and cotton and soybeans and wheat and rye. We farmed all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, I used to actually used to pick cotton. My grandmother made me a pick sack, and I would go out next to all the hired hands and we would pick cotton. Mm. For three cents a pound. Ooh. Now they've got briars, right? Big old briars that you can cut your hands up. Well, they're not briars. 
But, it's just uh, when the bowl the hardens bowl after it opens. Oh. But yeah, that to leafy your part question, yes, hardens. You, you yeah. can, and you can, cut you can scratch, your, yeah. scratch your hands up. You know, Bill's granddaughter's in the egg business. You I know, know that. that. Yeah. And Sheila yeah. said on the way out here, don't forget to ask Bill how the egg <laughs> business was. Mm. Oh, it is booming. It was booming. Yeah. We just sold 10 dozen with one order. Sales oh, are up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had a so, price increase, too. Had a price increase, right? Yeah, of course. Supply chain problems, feeds <laughs> gone sky high tea. You know how it is as a farm boy. I know how it is. We're $3 used, a dozen now. I, well, I used to have 12 <laughs> chickens. And She's I, got 29. 29. Well, I had 12. We sold a dozen a day. A quarter of a quarter a dozen. That's how much we got paid. <laughs> that was in Araby. Yeah. If I, you just joined us, it's Thanksgiving with T. Graham Brown. And Isn't all of the wonderful things that go along with it. Mm-hmm. Sheila's getting ready to do some cooking today and then... It'll I was going to say, time and she did some baking for us with her last little famous night. She made chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies oh. with walnuts in them. They're yeah, the best. Well, I th- said this out loud. Mm-hmm. Sheila doesn't have to cook for you to come in. You know this, right? <laughs> we love her and we love these cookies, but also I don't want her to think that that is the price of entry. No, well, she loves y'all. It's a love. It's a labor of love. As long as that's it and she doesn't feel <laughs> obligated. I don't want her to ever feel obligated. There is no exaggeration with this story. About Thanksgiving time, my wife every year will say, uh, Y'all uh, booked uh, T. Graham Brown to come to the show anytime in the, in the no. next few yeah. weeks? Yeah. True. Oh, for, for, for I the, care for the cookies. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I have I one cookie it. here in studio, so and the rest care, go home. You don't that, care about me. You care about I mean, we cookies. love you. We do love you. Well, we, we love Sheila. You've been sitting over there like a court stenographer just writing stuff down. Well, I got... What, what's I going got, on with you that you need to I share with the audience? Well... Uh, one thing is the Oak Ridge Boys start their Christmas show tonight mm-hmm. at the Opryland Hotel. Third year in a row. Yeah. And we've been to that show, enjoyed it immensely. So I just want to remind everybody that uh, I'm taping uh, Midnight Jamboree Saturday night, mm-hmm. which is the 26th. And that's free. There's not many and things that's free, free yeah, anymore. Yeah. Yep. I, I think we start at 10. I mm-hmm. think you can get in at 9. Yep. And, and Check us out. When does it air, Charlie? So over at the Troubadour Theater. Yeah, yeah. at the over Texas Troubadour. December 3rd yeah. is the air date. Saturday the 3rd. Yeah, mm-hmm. so and, tape it one week, plays back the next. And at the Nashville Palace, we're doing a thing called Christmas Cops and Country Music, which <laughs> uh, benefits LEAP, which is the Law Enforcement Assistance Partnership for the Franklin Police Department. And they give away scholarships, officers, they give assistance to families of officers that have passed away. And we got a bunch of people. John Conley's going to be there, Ronnie McDowell, uh, Marty Rabin, you know, of Shenandoah, uh, David Frizzell, Terry McBride from McBride and the Ride. I don't see him very often. Uh, Michelle Wright, Andy Griggs, John Ford Coley, if, as you will remember. We just had him in. You know, he just yeah. did his made his Opry debut. Yeah, I saw that on yeah. the internet. 51 years. Yeah, wow. It took him to get there. <laughs> and so the other day, I called up Terry Gibbs. Yeah. And I said, you know what? You need to come to Nashville. Everybody would love to see you. And she said, well, you know, I don't get out much. And. And I said, well, you need to come. People will love on you. I said, this thing's going to be sold out, and and it'll be fun. You know, I kind of had to talk her into it, but she eventually said yes. So she's going to be there, too. And for night. people who don't know Terry, her monster hit that still holds up oh. called Somebody's Knocking. Exactly. Should I let him in? Exactly. So we've got her coming also. And... Hey, man, I got an offer to be in a movie in January. What? So we're in negotiation with them. I'm supposed to play a preacher. Uh, I was getting ready to ask you, a good guy or a bad guy? No, Which good guy. guy. Good it's guy. kind of okay. a tearjerker movie, and I get to... I get to baptize somebody if I get the part, which, oh, man. you know, they want us to do it. So, Weren't you a preacher in a, in a Trace Atkins video or a Toby Keith video? I can't remember which one it was now. You were, you were in it. Is that oh, I was in a Trace Atkins video, but I wasn't a preacher. It was called uh, 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 Rather Be Fishing, and it's about a guy going fishing on Sunday. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So, oh, that's what it was. Oh, you were skipping uh, church. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. we were skipping church. <laughs> like that great Brad Paisley song uh-huh. called "Long Sermon on a Pretty Sunday," based on guys that were his dad's uh, friends who would be looking at their watches. <laughs> Preacher would be going a little bit long. The weather was great. They wanted to get to the water. Exactly. <laughs> they start tapping on their watches. <laughs> exactly. Well, long sermon on a pretty Sunday. That's what I like about Cowboy Church. We do a lot of Cowboy Churches around the nation. Uh-huh. And and it's like an 11-minute sermon. <laughs> they time themselves. So there's well, no watch tapping in the, in the Cowboy Church. We want to make sure that people know again they can be a part of the uh, Saturday night midnight jamboree taping yep. it tapes at 10 I want to make sure people yep. know that at the troubadour theater music valley here in nashville with t graham brown and you will hear it here on wsm radio all over the world and that happens on December all the over the world. the world imagine the world mm-hmm. imagine well we're gonna play this christmas song that you said uh, hey charlie play this one cut oh, this here. down in muscle shoals yeah it's a thing called santa's got his baby something good you write this? No, Billy Lawson wrote it, but he played it for me down there one day. I said, man, I got to put a vocal on this. This is <laughs> too good. So, yeah, we did. And thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank and you. We love y'all very much. And as I always say, yes. God bless you, Ralph, and thanks for having me on your Nashville Now show. <laughs> T. Graham Brown. Then in the brown to go around. WSM Circle Television. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm right around the corner, driving through your neighborhood. You're gonna be glad to see me, cause Santa's got his baby something good. Thanks for listening to the Coffee, Country, and Cody podcast. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And please leave us a five-star review. This podcast was produced through the facilities of WSM Radio in Nashville, Tennessee. The hosts of Coffee, Country, and Cody are Bill Cody, Charlie Matos, and Kelly Sutton. Producer, Eric Markham. WSM General Manager and Director of Content and Programming, J. Patrick Tittle. Copyright 2022. Opry Entertainment Group Holdings, LLC.